Hey there, we'll be taking a look at how to connect your domain name to your website. GoDaddy is the leading domain registrar, so we'll be demonstrating this with a domain purchased from GoDaddy. However, the steps are very similar regardless of which registrar you purchased your domain from, and we'll link you to instructions for some other popular domain registrars. Before we get started, there are several important elements of your website that rely on having your domain connected, including your payment gateway, reCAPTCHA spam protection, Google Maps, as well as some other integrations. So you'll most likely want to connect your domain prior to setting up any of those integrations. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we'll want to do is over in the left-hand menu of our admin area, we'll go to Settings and Domain Manager. So there's two simple steps that we'll need to do to connect our domain to our website. The first step will be over in our domain registrar's account. Again, in this case, we'll be using GoDaddy. So let's head on over into our domain manager in GoDaddy. And you can see we have one domain here, setupmywebsite.com. This is the domain that we'll be connecting to our website. So we'll click these three dots just to the right of the domain name, and we'll go to manage DNS. So we'll scroll down just a little bit to the name servers area in GoDaddy, and you can see that we have the two default name servers listed here. We'll want to click the change button, and in the lower left-hand corner, we'll click enter my own name servers, advanced, and here we can enter the first and second name server. So we'll go back into our website's admin area, and you can see the first and second name servers that we've listed on the left-hand side of the domain manager. So we'll copy the first one, which is ns1.directorysecure.com, and we'll paste that into name server one. And we'll do the same for the second name server, which is ns2.directorysecure.com. And once we have those two name servers pasted in here, we'll click save. We'll click yes, I consent. And the DNS management page in GoDaddy should refresh. Now initially, you'll probably still see the default name servers here. So if we just refresh this page manually and we scroll down, we can now see that our new name servers, ns1.directorysecure.com and ns2.directorysecure.com have been applied. The second step will require us to go back into our website's admin area. And all we need to do is in this area, we can enter our new primary domain for the website. So if it's a typical domain like we'll be using in this scenario, we'll start with www. and we'll go ahead and put in our domain name. In this case, it's setupmywebsite.com. And we'll enter that one more time to confirm and we'll click add domain and confirm. And now we'll let the system apply the new domain name to our website. This process should take less than a minute but the entire process as a whole, allowing the changes to the name servers to take effect, that can take up to 48 hours in some rare cases, but typically you should see this entire process take effect in less than 15 minutes. All right, so the system has finished processing the domain name change, and we can see up here, our primary domain is now set to setupmywebsite.com. And if we click the visit website button in the top right corner, We'll see our website loads properly, and it's on our new domain name, setupmywebsite.com. This entire process for the system to process the domain name change and for the name server updates to be recognized took roughly 45 seconds. Again, this process is typically fairly quick. It should take less than 15 minutes, but in some rare cases, it might take up to 48 hours. If you have questions, please reach out at any time. Our team is always happy to help and support you.